Thanks for joining me today. We have a 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid Max, and we are gonna do a real world mile per gallon test on this. So let's take a quick look at it, and then we'll go to the gas station, get filled up, and get this test started. So this is the Storm Cloud cover. And like I said, it is the Hybrid Max. Let's take a quick look at the cargo area. It's a three row SUV, decent amount of space back here. You get about 20 cubic feet. Seats fold down, I think it goes up to around 60 cubic feet. And then you put all of them down and you get like 97 cubic feet of space. So you see the second row has brown leather seats with Alcantara in the center. They are heated and ventilated in this second row that comes with the platinum trim. You see the front. Same way, you do have powered seats with lumbar. Just really nice. Color combinations are really good. You can see all this bronze um, accents everywhere. Really nice. Let's get to the gas station. Let's get this thing filled up. Let's see this test because it's supposed to get 27 miles per gallon on an average. Um, but let's see if we can actually hit that number or maybe it'll be better. Let's go find out. Okay, we are here at our local gas station and we are gonna get this thing filled up. No special requirements for this engine, so we will be putting in 87 octane. Get this started. Okay, there we go. We have driven this for a couple days, so it probably will take a little bit to fill this up. All right, we're gonna do, wait 30 seconds, wait a few seconds, and then we're gonna do a top off. So we top off here in five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna top off. And that's it, we are good. And we put in four and a half gallons. Now we should only put in about three and a half after this drive. All right, everything back in. And let's get stuff reset and get out of here. Trip distance right here, we're all cleared out there. We're going to reset the trip over here. The trip information, go to history. That's where we're at, this is the latest update we're going to clear all right so we are clear there that also clears it on this screen over here and there's our distance driven right there and then we'll also have clear this out while we're driving i will pop in periodically uh, give you guys updates into where we're sitting at going into cities and coming out of cities and that type of thing the other thing i'm going to do is give you the parameters of this drive and of this test and then also i'll give you a little more information about this grand highlander in case it's something that you're interested in and i'll give you my thoughts so let's get going and i will see you in a little bit this is your first time watching one of these mile per gallon tests i'm going to run you through what our parameters for these tests are we do these exactly the same way the same route same speeds everything like that so it's all balanced uh, across the board for every vehicle the only difference is going to be is terrain and weather that type of thing so today it is about 37 to 38 degrees we do have a wind blowing about 15 miles per hour from the west so it's going to push us a little bit on the drive today at the first part of it but the second part then we're going to be driving into the wind so that should negate that so what we do is we go to the gas station we fill it up with gas we wait a few seconds and then we top off uh, with one pull so then that makes sure that we are fully topped off of gas and then we drive 100 miles. It's approximately 100 miles depending on the vehicle. We've had some come in just under 100, some come over just a little over 100, but it's the same distance every single time. When we're driving, we drive five miles per hour over the speed limit, because that is about the average of what most people do. So 
on the highway we'll be driving 60 on the interstate we'll be driving 75 and then in the towns we'll be driving roughly somewhere between 35 and uh, 45 or 50 to 50 miles per hour so um, just depending on that city and that town so what we are going to drive is about 50 miles in one direction it's going to cover two towns that we make loops through um, and then the interstate drive is going to be about 20 miles so 10 miles in one direction 10 miles in the opposite direction on the way back and we drive that same 50 miles back to the original gas station and try to use the original pump we fill it up we do the top off then we calculate numbers with a calculator and compare it to what the car says that we averaged and what the EPA says we're supposed to average. And that's how we run this test. The other thing is, is that we run this in normal mode. Whatever the normal mode is that the car runs in when you start it up, that's how we do it. So it's in normal, it's not in eco, so we're not trying to eke out every last mile per gallon we can this is going to be how real people drive how normal people just get in their car and go so that's how we do this and thermostat we run with heat and we run with air conditioning in the summer so there's no we're not trying to hyper mile anything we're not trying to make numbers better than what they are we want you guys to have real true numbers that you can rely on when you're driving yes weather temperature everything's going to have a little factor in that you might get better in the summer and worse in the winter that's just how it goes with every vehicle but now we're going to get moving on this test i'm going to update you as we go along and i'm going to give you some more information about this grand highlander here um, in a little bit and maybe it is something that you want to buy so i will talk to you guys later right we are entering our first town and so far we are averaging 22.8 miles per gallon and we have driven eight miles um so that's where we're at and i know i'm gonna have this eye tracker thing sitting there telling me all the time just that you need to pay attention but that's what we've got going on right now we're gonna make a loop through this town and then i'll update you guys after that while you guys are here, it would be great if you would go down and hit that subscribe button because the more subscribers we get, the farther this spreads. Hit that like button also, and that will also help me get more of vehicles like this one to bring to you guys. Okay, we just left our first town after making a loop through there, and we are at, let's do this screen here, 25.3 miles per gallon right now and we have driven 13.4 miles so maybe if i hold it this angle we won't have to worry about the eye tracker we're blocking it but that's where we're at right now um, i will update you as we get ready to enter our next town we're going to be driving the highway for a little bit and you see we're set at 60. so i will see you guys in a few minutes so are you considering a Toyota Grand Highlander uh, let me know down in the comments if it's something that you are interested in um, but I just want to let you know that this is the platinum trim and the hybrid max so this is supposed to be the most powerful one and the most decked out one just so you're aware of that what you're seeing here is the top of the line now what you do get is standard features on every Grand Highlander across all trim levels are you get powered and heated seats in the front. You get a heated steering wheel. Um, what else do we got? Um, a wireless phone charger and you get sunshades for the rear. And then you also have a powered lift gate and the safety sense suite 3.0 so those are all standard features for every single one there are also several engine options there's actually three engine options that you can choose from so of course your gasoline engine is good is going to be the cheapest one that is going to be a 2.4 liter with 265 horsepower
So your base gasoline engine is going to be a 2.4 liter turbo engine that gets 265 horsepower. Now that's going to be paired with an 8 speed transmission which um, is actually pretty good. It's going to get you about 24 miles per gallon so not the greatest mile per gallon um, but if you want some more efficiency or better efficiency you can go up to the 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid engine that's going to get you 245 horsepower so a little less power but you're going to be tied to a cvt transmission and you're going to get 34 to 36 miles per gallon now that is a huge huge boost in efficiency then you can go up to this hybrid max system which is uh, a 2.4 liter turbo with tied to two electric motors and it's going to give you 362 horsepower you're going to be tied to a six-speed transmission and it's going to get you about 27 miles per gallon you know quite a variety of engine options there uh, so it really just depends on your price point now the hybrid max system is only available on the limited and the platinum trims so the xle trim which is the base for the grand highlander does not get that so that's where you're going to go into your regular hybrid if that's what you want um, but just remember you're going to be trading off from an eight-speed transmission with the gas engine to a cvt with the um, traditional hybrid engine the seats are really comfortable in here i i really do like that and i love the uh, design with the brown and the copper um, trimming in here it just looks really nice everything is laid out really well um, your climate control buttons you have um, all of them um, if you haven't seen the main review uh, it is up on the channel right now so you can go check that out it will be linked in the description and at the end of this video overall it does feel really big it is big um, but it feels big driving. When you are making the motions, you can actually feel that back end swinging around a little bit. Um, it's not horrible, it is, it is actually pretty decent and a lot of the driver assistance features are done really well. So that should not deter you from anything. Um, the steering wheel is great. The only thing that I do not like, and it's just a preference of mine and my wife's, is that we don't like the eye trackers. Um, it's not that they are annoying. Some are very annoying. But uh, it's just the fact that if I'm trying to uh, make this video, like talk to you, and I have to keep looking back so the eye tracker doesn't go off all the time, it's ridiculous. If I have my hands on the wheel, and I have to drive with my hands on the wheel, there isn't any reason that I have to have an eye tracker also. If I have my hands off of the wheel and it's hands-free driving, yes, I understand having the eye tracker to make sure you are paying attention because your hands are not on the wheel. So that's my two cents on that. Other than that, this has been excellent. Um, you know, 27 miles per gallon is what we're supposed to average on this. It's 26 in the city, 27 on the highway, with an average of 27 is what it says. What the EPA has this rated at. And um, so far, we are really close to that rating, but haven't hit it yet. All right, we're getting ready to come into our next town, so I'm going to update you on that, and I will talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, we are coming into our next town that we were going to make a loop through this one also. Right now after that highway drive, we are just hit 27 miles per gallon. That's what we are supposed to average in this. So we are at that point there and right there you can see 28.1 miles so far that we've driven. And of course this is 27 also. So that's doing awesome. We are right at EPA and what they rated it. Um, so we're going to make a loop through this town, then we're going to head out on the interstate. So I'll update you before we get on the interstate. Okay, we are coming up on the interstate. We're going to be getting on here in just a few minutes. And right now, after making that loop through town, we are at 27.5 miles per gallon. See, we've driven 36.1 miles. 
27 and a half. So we're going to get up on the interstate right here. Once we get to the top of this, we're going to accelerate very generously like you're supposed to when you get on the interstate. And I'll give you guys a chance to hear this engine as soon as we get straightened out here. So we got about three, two, one, and let's go. Floored it. And we are up to speed already. After accelerating up here on to the interstate, we are now at 26.6 and 37.2 miles. So got to drive on this for a little while and we'll get to a turnaround point. I'll update you guys there and then we'll be headed back in the opposite direction. Okay, so we are coming up on our exit here. This is where we're gonna make our loop. So we're just gonna turn around and go back out on the other side. And right now you can see it's really been dropping out here in the interstate. We are kind of driving into some wind here. I'm um, kind of hitting this more on the side, but we're at 25.2 and we are at 49.8 miles driven. So here's our exit. All we're gonna do is go up, we're gonna loop around and come right back down the other side. Generally, this is not a very you know active area, so most of the time we can just pull up, stop, take off, and just loop right back around without any issues. Um, we'll see how we're gonna do that right now. Uh, looks like we've got Looks like we've got a couple cars coming from this side, so we'll let those go by, and then we'll be out on the road again. All right, we'll go back up here. So 25.4, and um, so that's really dropped once we got on the interstate. I mean, we were at 27 or over 27 getting onto the interstate, so that really took a toll. Now, it's possible since we were driving into a lot of that wind on the way in here that we might um, catch a little push on the way back, um, but it's more hitting us on the side, kind of more at a uh, coming from the northwest angle on us, so we might get just a little push. Uh, we'll find out when we get off the interstate and see if we've gained any on the way back, but go around here. We will... Um, accelerate here so let you guys hear that engine I will put it to the floor give you guys a real good sound on this engine which we've got a semi going by we're gonna let that thing get by anyway so here we go actually sounds really really good I'm really impressed by that yeah so I, I really like the sound of this I think it sounds good uh, it doesn't it doesn't sound, you know, like a bad four cylinder or anything like that. It actually has a nice tone to it. So I think you guys will be fully impressed by that. So, all right, I will update you guys as soon as we get off the interstate and see if we gained or lost some more. We're coming up on our exit off the interstate here. And right now we went down even further, 23.8 miles per gallon. That is a huge drop out there in the interstate. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to recover that and get back to that 27 mile per gallon average we're supposed to be. We are at 64.2 miles. Yeah, so, well, we'll just have to see what happens when we go through town here. We are gonna make a loop again through this town and i will update you where we're at after we make that loop hopefully we will gain some more uh, going through town let it use the hybrid um, system to gain some there so hopefully that works out All right i'll talk to you in a few minutes okay we are heading out of town now after making that loop we are at 24.4 miles per gallon right now so we didn't gain a whole lot, and we have gone 72.5 total miles. So we're getting ready to get back up on the highway. Uh, so once we get back to town, the next town, then I will update you then. All right, we are coming into our last town. We're gonna make a loop through here. 
so far you can see we're at 24.8 so we have gained some since we left the last town and 88.1 miles so we'll have to see what happens going through town here but i really don't see us getting to that 27 mark but it is possible so i will update you guys here shortly okay we are heading out of our last town and out to the highway so right now we are up to 25 miles per gallon so yeah i really don't see us making that 27 but maybe we'll get close to 26. do have to remind you that it is it is winter uh you know it is now 36 degrees outside we did have a 15 mile an hour wind that we did have a little help with um, on the first part of the trip and been driving against on the back end really affected us on the interstate. So that's where we got hit the hardest. We got to show you 92.8 miles we've driven so far. So we should come in right at 100 or really close. We are coming into our town with our gas station. And right now we are at 25.2 miles per gallon we just went over 100 miles or 100.3 uh, like i said you know it depends on the vehicle but i have had the last one we did with the kia telluride registered 99.7 when we got to the gas station and now this one says 100.3 but um so it just depends on the vehicle those are a little different each time but that's the that's what we'll go off of when we make our calculations so here we're cruising through town, coming up on our gas station. Hopefully we can get the same pump and we are going to get the exact same pump. So we will pull in here. There are the numbers for at this moment, 100.6 miles and 25.2 miles per gallon. So I'm gonna take a picture of that and then we'll get out and get it topped off okay so we made it um let's get topped off here like we talked about earlier no special gas needed so we're gonna use 87 octane it's like we are ready let's go should be somewhere around three and a half to four gallons let's see what we get here okay there's three there we are 3.6 so Give that about five more seconds and then we will top it off. All right, go three, two, one, and we'll pull, let it top off. All right, that's it. So there we go, we got 4.030 gallons. So that's what we'll be dividing by. And just in case anybody is wondering, 285 for 87, 355 for 93, and 345 for diesel here in Illinois. Get inside and let's run some numbers. Okay, so what we had, 100.6 miles. So car said 25.2 miles per gallon on 100.6 miles. And EPA says we're supposed to get 26 in the city, 27 in the highway. I think it's supposed to average 27. Even if I average 26, that's still basically the same thing. 26, 27. We got 100.6, and we're going to divide that by the 4.030, and that gives us 24.96. 24.96 um yeah that is not what the car says that's not what the epa says we're going to get like i said earlier though this is winter it is 36 degrees out it was 38 when we started our test we had a 15 mile an hour wind the wind should have been negated terrain should have been negated because we did everything in the exact backwards order on the way back so but you know, this is showing that it's not even reaching what the car says. So they're off by about 0.3 miles per gallon, which is not huge, 
but it is a little bit. Your real world mile per gallon average for the 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid Max is going to be 24.96, basically 25 miles per gallon. Winter, summer, you might actually get a few miles per gallon better than that. If you didn't see the re review of this Grand Highlander, it is up here in the box next to me and the other box is gonna have something YouTube thinks that you might like off my channel. I think you're gonna like it too. Make sure you hit subscribe because that really helps us get more of these vehicles to bring to you guys. And if you like this, hit the like button so it can spread it through YouTube a little bit further, get it to more people, and that will also help get more vehicles. So um, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next test.